Mi gente, we sold out of the palette. A of the palette. Mm, mm, mm. I need some music. I can't just do it. I can freestyle in Spanish, but not English. Yeah, it's fun fact about me. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Like I said, we just sell out. I'll talk more about that at the end of the video. But today, we're gonna jump right in it. I created this everyday look that you guys have requested. I've been doing this literally every single day of the summer when I wanna go somewhere. Don't know where I'm gonna go. I just wanna look cute, glamour, the natural side. Nothing too beat, nothing too fancy. But we still got a nice face going on. I went ahead and used my Ofra palette right here. You guys already saw it, but... <laughs> she is a cutie. Without further ado, if you guys are new to my channel, welcome, my name is Valeria. And yes, I just launched my palette with Ofra. But make sure you subscribe down below, join the Valerina's family. I'm gonna stop rambling, guys. If you guys wanna see, I created this look right here. Using my palette and of course, my staple products that I've been using for my everyday slay face, then please keep on watching. I really have been liking this Hourglass Brow Sculpting Pencil. It is the shade Dark Brunette. And I like that it's dual ended, so it comes with the spoolie and then the pencil. So I'm gonna start by brushing up my eyebrows. The actual product comes out like really thick and it's already at an angle. It's really similar to the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. It makes it super, super easy to fill them in. Honestly, a lot quicker than going in with like pomade. You guys have been using my Sigma Brow Pomade forever. Pero, I like switching things up, you know, not sticking with the same routine. And now with a fine tip of brow pencil, I'm gonna go ahead and define the top of my brow. And as you guys can see, I did not apply any product to the front of my brow. Boom, that looks pretty good to me. Now I'll take some concealer. This is a Frankie Rose concealer, guys. Look, I've literally almost out. I don't think I've gone through a concealer this quick ever in my life. And what I like to do, this is the color Chai. You can use my code Valia Lauren, save some money, but I really like it to apply products in the back of my hand. And I really have been liking this Dose of Colors concealer brush. It's so amazing and so nice and flat. I'll just start working from the back of my hand. And if I need extra product, I can always go back in and use some more. There we go. So now, one thing that I've been doing is not applying any powder. I was I con la baby. Paleta, dame paleta. If I know that song, drop me a Puerto Rican flag. That's how ratchet we are. Okay, so today we're gonna do something really light, airy, nothing too crazy. We're gonna go in with this shade right here, which is called Country Road. It is a nice, soft, burnt orange shade, perfect for the crease. And I'm gonna be taking that with a Sigma E40 blending brush. I love this brush for an all-over blend. I'm not gonna go with a lot of this eyeshadow because it's gonna be a little pigmented, but I just wanna add some color here to the crease. Nothing major, nothing crazy. So I'm taking a big fluffer brush, and as you can see, I lay down most of the color in the outer corner, and then once I have the pigmentation in the outer corner, I'll go ahead and push it all the way to the front. And I'm really buffing it in the outer part right here so that you can see where the eyeshadow starts or ends. No demarcations, honey, not on these eyes. Miren que fácil this is gonna be. Now I'm taking a dose of colors shader brush right here. I'm gonna take Americano. I should not be using this eyeshadow palette because I have an uglier one. This is my demonstration palette, miren que nice and clean. I'm taking Americano bronzer right here. I love using this as actual like eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. And what I'll do is I'll just apply it all over the crease. Look at how easy that is, guys, and so pretty. So all we needed was two shades, and we have an everyday pretty eyeshadow look. It can be used day or night. You can pair this up with a lighter lip, or if you wanna do bold lip, it can easily become like a night look. And you can keep building it up, adding a little bit more. I'm gonna get a little bit more of Country Road and add that to the outer corners. This is it for the eyes, at least for now. That's all we're gonna do. Now we're gonna be taking some eyeliner. I'm taking Araceli. I, I was using the um, Too Faced one, which is so good. I don't know where it's at right now. I have a mess of makeup, but this is the Araceli Ojos Perfectos Liquid Liner. I love me some fill tip liners, especially to line just like my lash line. So that's what I'll be using today. Nothing crazy, I just wanna outline something to when I apply the lashes, it looks a little bit fuller. It's a little trick that I like to do. For mascara, I really have been liking the Lancome Hypnose Mascara. I've heard so many good things about it and I actually didn't know I had it until now that I did. So I really, really love it. It's really nice and in black and I just really like the brush on it. So we are gonna be applying lashes because you guys know even for my everyday looks, I have to go with some lashes. Now I'm gonna be taking my Mykonos lashes. You guys know these are my favorite lashes of all time. You can use my code Violet at checkout to save some money. I just love them because they literally go with every single look. 
taking my Tarte Tardis Lash Glue. It's the one that I've been using whenever I don't have my House of Lashes one, which by the way, still can't find it anywhere. I just don't wanna buy it online. Now that the lashes are dried up, we're gonna go ahead and apply them with my lash tweezer. You guys will see how this look is gonna be from like cute to like, wow, who is she? Not gonna lie, it's all a little bit wanky. <laughs> They've been through it, y'all. But I'm telling you, like my lily lashes last me like up until like 20 to 25 wears. Like I'm not exaggerating. These are still holding off from Puerto Rico and honestly, they're still going strong. How cute. I'm definitely not me without my Mykonos. They're linda. Going in first with the 4th Ray Beauty Rose Face Milk. Look. I'm going through this, it's amazing. I'm also gonna mix it with the Farsali Unicorn Essence Serum because I just love how it smells. It's actually a new bottle, yay. I just love me a good like serum face. So the face milk, I was reading up on it because I'm just so intrigued that no one has ever made face milks before and they're actually skin conditioners. Like conditioner for your hair, but for your skin. So it conditions your skin, it has a lot of like natural ingredients in it. Anything skincare, give it, give it to me. So to moisturize my skin, I'm gonna be using the Italia Mar Ofra Moisturizer. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I have been using this so much. I actually ran out of mine while I was in Puerto Rico, but I found one, but Trooper, I don't know if you guys can tell by how destroyed the packaging is. It literally punctured the whole bottle. I'm surprised that it's still like alive and that he didn't actually like break it. But it was like almost like all the pressure is here. So this is actually one of the most favorite moisturizers I've ever tried. I really, really like it. It has vitamin C in it, which is really good for the skin. Taking my Frankie Rose Foundation, Matte Perfection Foundation in the shade Oatmeal. It's an everyday foundation for me because every day something that's going to last me and I don't have to worry about taking powder with me or reapplying and you guys know how I feel about this foundation. It's amazing. A lot of you guys have actually gotten it because of me and I know you're gonna love it as well. So I'm taking my Ofra Beauty Sponge. It's actually one of my favorite ones. I love the color and it just it also is really squishy and bouncy. And I have found to be my foundation is so nice and perfect. Up next, taking the same concealer, the Frankie Rose. And your girl goes in with this concealer. Just love me a really nice bright under eye area. It's definitely what I live for. And this concealer just gives me just that. And this should be just enough to cover your entire face. Now with the concealer, I'll go in and buff out the eyeshadow. As you guys can see, I brought it up more. It's kind of like a, an eraser in a way. And there she is, all nice and concealed. You can go with cream contour, but for me, that was not part. That has not been part of my current everyday routine because I just want to get it out the way. But you guys know baking is actually part of who I am. So I'm almost out of this. Probably going to be the last time I use it. You guys see the Huda Beauty Pound Cake Loose Setting Powder. So far, my most favorite setting powder to date. So I like to start by pressing the most of the product up to my nose. I never used to do that. And then whatever is stressed, I'll run it like outward. I want more of the brightness to be concentrated in that area and it will also chisel out my nose without me having to go in and really like contour it. It's kind of like a cheat sheet, you know? Also under your chin or on your chin or on the mouth area. And another little trick I've been doing, I go like this, like a little blowfish, like, and then I tap on those left lines like this. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no powder here, no powder here. <sighs> They're all in here, guys. I can't believe that I was able to include a bronzer, highlighter, and blush in this palette, in eyeshadows. Like, the fact that I was able to do that, it's like mind-blowing. I still can't believe it. I'm gonna go in with Americano bronzer, and I'm gonna be bronzing out my cheeks and my whole complexion. And I'm gonna be taking that with my Sigma F40 Large Angle Contour. And you guys see how I already created a shadow with the foundation and the baking? I'm naturally gonna follow that and then go up into my hairline. And I love this bronzer because as you can see, it gives you a little bit of shimmer. And because the foundation is already matte, I really have been liking that look. It looks more radiant. And then now I'll take this moment to take a little bit of bronzer and run it in the areas where I didn't apply any loose powder. Now that we're done bronzing, taking a brush. This is from Hourglass. I like it because of its pointy side. It's also really soft. I'm gonna go ahead and buff out underneath of that nose. I mean, that under eye powder. Now we're done with all the powders. I'm taking a little bit of my Ofra setting spray, makeup fixer, one of my faves, and I'm gonna be spraying my face before applying blush and highlight. 
Now that we are done with that little step, I'm gonna go ahead and apply now my blush, so loud. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my blush combo right now for today. Since I already have a loud shirt, I wouldn't go in with B29, which is this bright, pretty, like, pink blush. But I am gonna be mixing Charm and Rose Gulo right here. And slowly buff that upward with the bronzer. You guys see how beautiful those two colors look together? And I love how they just blend right with Americano. Like an on one big like combination, you know? It's like it's meant to be. Cheeks, done. Bronzer, done. Before moving on to highlighter, I'm gonna go in with mascara one more time and apply this to the lower lashes. I don't do anything else on my lower lashes for this look. You can always apply some eyeshadow, but for me, I like to either keep it naked or add a little bit of mascara. I usually don't apply a lot of mascara when I have like these kind of natural looks because I don't want it to clash. Like I just want it to look everything nice and uniform. So now let's do highlighter. This is the hardest part because there's so many to choose from considering I have Beverly Hills and Rodeo Drive. I really like this pinkish one from Beverly Hills right here. It's like pink with like gold. Oh, I think I'm gonna use this one. Yeah, I'm gonna use that one. So you pretty much, if you wanna get technical with it, you get six highlighters. I'm gonna be taking my Anastasia A23 brush and I'm only gonna be digging into the pink, oh, sorry, my mic, I apologize for my mic. I'm only gonna be getting the pink highlighter right here from the palette from Beverly Hills. You could totally mix it with another one, but for today's look, I just want the tone of pink and I'm softly going to apply that to my cheeks. You guys see how it has a little bit of gold, but like pink in it? I feel like it's absolutely stunning. And then I'm gonna bring it up to my hairline as well. Down here, my chin, my nose area. Ooh, that looks really pretty. Wow, I really like this. I forget a little bit here on the forehead, something slight. Not too much, and we also cannot forget the inner corners and also the brow bone. I'm gonna go with the same one to kind of keep it like the same theme, you know? I'm gonna be using Spice from MAC today. I'm gonna give my LA girl a, a, a little break. For liquid lipstick, I'm actually taking this color that I just discovered um, from another influencer set that was part of the project influencer that I am with Ofra. It is in the color Manila right here. I have it linked down below for you guys. Like, how did I not know that Ofra had a nude like this? I like that it's almost like a lighter nude that you can make ombre with like lip liner or other like lip products and kind of like get the corner so it's like all nice and like tacky. It'll be a little harder to glide on the lip liner once it's dry. Ooh, ah, uh, oof, yes, honey. Now, yes. last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and set the face one more time. This is an appropriate everyday sleigh look. I think it's good for any type of event, work, you know, social activity. It is my everyday sleigh makeup, what I like to do when I have no, when I just wanna get glam, don't know where I'm going, so this is what I put on my face. I really hope that you guys love this tutorial and this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Of course, I will have all the products that I use and mention listed down below, along with the links and discount codes. Just as you guys know, I announced this on my Instagram, but we actually sold out of the palette the first day. Like, that is such a blessing, like all glory to God, but, I am just super thankful and blessed, but since Ofra is actually located in their like factory, they're able to literally produce like next day. So they they just made like a new fresh batch of the oven. So you guys can still get my palette until further notice. Yes, it is limited edition, but um, I think for about two weeks, we're gonna sell the palette. So if it runs out again, who knows? You still will be able to get your palette for about two weeks. So for any update on the palette, please follow me on Instagram at Violet and Beauty. That's where I'll keep you guys updated. So make sure you get it with the code Violet to save some money at checkout. And I will also, like I said, list the link of other products that I love also from over my favorites that are on sale. That is a lot of information. I do have tutorials coming using my palette, so stay tuned. I'm gonna give you guys the good glam, the, the valley glam. Y'all know how that goes. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the support on this launch. It has been so special to me and so amazing and successful because of you guys. And I cannot wait to keep giving back to you guys and to have you on this journey with me. Well, that was it for this video. I really hope that you guys loved it. As always, muchos besitos. Yeah, abrazos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.